molasses in January thing was really more of a myth? I put all the scraps in here. Okay. Dad. Merry Christmas. You got the lens cap off? Nope. Darn it all. So what do we have over here? Sugar, corn syrup, water, um, cream of tartar. Cream of tartar, just a tiny quarter tablespoon, teaspoon I mean. And then uh, this one we put, you can put all the scraps in from uh, the hard candies, candy canes and all things. The steaks. They, they can go in here because we're going to put molasses in there and molasses covers up all the flavors. Very resourceful. Yep. Are you guys doing anything else after this? Yep. Another one. Oh, doing two of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll switch over to chocolate for the day. Yeah. So this will be a dual candy day. Hmm. What temperature is that at now? Uh, 315. We can go up to close to 320 and then put the molasses in because that'll cool it down. Oh, so then it'll get down to 310? Yeah. I always gotta play the waiting game. It's just about there. It's not that fun. Yeah. I, there's other games I've liked better. You can go a little higher on the temp because usually when we're doing uh, hard candies... I can go higher? Wow. You're going to 320. She's talking to the camera. Um, the reason he goes a little higher with um, molasses than he goes with, say, candy canes, which are 300, is because with candy canes you want the syrup to be really clear. Then when you throw it on the hook it's nice and white. But the molasses is going to be dark. It's going to be even darker when we add... So it's okay to burn it? No, we're not burning it. <laughs> just making it dark. That's yeah. why we're adding this Brer Rabbit molasses. Full flavor. Full flavor? Non-GMO certified. Wow. Non-GMO project verified. Look at that little sticker. If I can focus it. Mom, you're yeah. facing it the wrong way. Yeah, you gotta see the non-GMO. Yeah, look, it's healthy. healthy. It's healthy candy, right? Of course. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's vegan, it. it's gluten-free, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. everyone can eat it. Yeah, because gluten is such a criminal. Oh yeah, it's the worst. At least there's not a lot of chemicals. <laughs> you know, have you ever heard something slower than the last in January? I think I've heard of that, yeah. Okay, well, first of all, this is November. And second of all, apparently, if you put this in front of a candy heater, it doesn't come out that slowly. Hmm. It's quicker. Whoa. Quicker than molasses? In January. Now, I don't know. Maybe if I tried this in January, it wouldn't work. I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to run this experiment again. Yeah. Definitely the time of year has to do with it. Clearly. More than the temperature. Exactly. Is that good enough? Okay. Good enough, I guess. If I have to. I'm a man. I and can I can change. change. If, if I, I have, have to, to. I guess. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Anyone want to lick that? Yummy. <laughs> what do we have over here, Mom? That is a bucket of peanut butter mixed with confectioner's sugar. Whoa. That's all it is. Sugar and peanut butter? Isn't that like kind of boiled? Well, not boiled, but is that like on the stove top to heat it up? Melt it, it over the double boiler. <laughs> Are Gardening gloves? Yeah, just general work gloves. Hmm. I don't know what the difference is between gardening gloves and general work gloves, but... I think most people use your gloves as gardening gloves, but we use them as candy gloves. Okay. 
Oh no, it's gonna go over the edge. Not again. I gotta get on this side. I always go on the other side for this. I gotta give a different angle. Now what kind of peanut butter do you guys use? Jeff. Choose your candy makers. Choose Jeff. Creamy. Creamy Jeff. For years I thought that most adults preferred crunchy peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And Karen saw on a morning talk show that about 90% of Americans prefer creamy peanut butter. Hmm. So we switched our peanut butter cups. We started making, we didn't even make creamy peanut butter cups at the time. Yeah. Little, like 10 or 15 years ago. So we added the creamy and they way outsell the crunchy. Hmm. Who knew? Clearly I did. Yeah. Good thing uh, Karen Wax is, uh, was it a morning talk show thing? Or yeah, something? good thing. Good thing, she's doing her homework. Yep. I'm gonna need to come over there. This looks like it's already cooling faster than uh, the other. Yeah, this is the first batch of the day, so the table ah. is quite cold. Oh, I thought it was just like molasses, maybe. No. And I'm going to move this sucker all over this table. I'm going to put it down here, I'm going to put it down here. Whoa. Because it's cold in both places. No. She dry out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> how how many times a year do you guys watch this? The movie. I'll put it on uh, three or four times. Yeah, three or four times. I was gonna say four. <laughs> you have to go between that and Christmas vacation, just to be fair. Yeah, you guys already watched Christmas vacation this year, right? Right. Yep. So we have a couple more times to go. Yeah. <laughs> we usually watch that during um, ribbon candy specifically, but the colored ribbon candy, not the peanut butter filled ribbon mm -hmm. candy. So what uh, what other movies do you guys watch multiple times per year? I think that's it. Tommy Boy and. Um, Monty Python, Caddyshack, and the Holy Grail. All the classics. Yeah. <laughs> Office Space. Uh oh, mom. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. The Blob is escaping. Not again. It's pretty quick. You think I would learn how to? On this side. Control this. I see that. I don't know what to do. Steve, what should I do? Oh, it's ruined. There's no going back. Oh. <laughs> Let's oh, go down Dad, here. save the day. Whoa. That is so gross looking. <laughs> it doesn't look like something people would fight over, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> or stomp their feet and get mad if we run out of it. How often does that happen? When we run out of it. It's called Ribbon Candy Rage. Ribbon Candy Rage. Last year, the weather did not cooperate, so we only got to make Ribbon Candy one time, and there was some Ribbon Candy Rage. Some disgruntled. So, yeah, we had to rethink things because the weather was not cold enough until too late in the season. I guess there's this global warming thing I've heard of. Something like that. Yeah. So this year, that's why we did a, a really early morning batch of Ribbon Candy, and we'll do it again if we have to. We'll, we can do it like between midnight and 7 a.m. if that's when it's cold. That's what we'll have to do. When you guys did uh, ribbon candy earlier at like a weird hour, what when do you do it? Yeah, we just like um, Saturday. We just did it from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. But that was a small batch, so we could get away with that. But we have a big batch coming up. But it looks like about a week from today, the weather might be cooperative. Mm -hmm. So we'll hopefully not have to use uh, crazy measures. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be cold enough. Yeah. I never even saw that movie or heard of it till the 2000s. This one. It, Came out when we were newlyweds and we weren't watching Christmas shows. Yeah. Now there's like a marathon like every year. Oh yeah, they have like a, like a 24 hour loop at least. Or yeah. It might be a whole weekend. Mm-hmm. Because my sister Maggie was 
talking about the Christmas story, the Christmas story. And I thought she was just talking about some generic show, but yeah. she was talking about a movie called The Christmas Story. So <laughs> she's like, you've never seen it? <laughs> no, I've never. She's like, you, you'll shoot your eye out? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so yeah, probably about eight years ago I saw it for the first time. What about you, Dad? What was your, what was your first viewing? You didn't know either. No, I didn't what? know either. We were newlyweds. We weren't watching Christmas shows. We were staring into each other's eyes. When it came out, you mean? <laughs> What's that? When it came out, you mean? Yeah. So I probably saw it like roughly when you guys saw it, right? Probably. Yep. After we watched a few times and determined that it wasn't too violent or offensive for the <laughs> kids to watch. Us wee little tykes. Yes. Because there's a whole big swearing part that comes up. Oh, yeah. Fudge. <laughs> Fiddlestick, rassle, fratzel, yeah. Except I didn't say fudge. <laughs> At least he was using a candy term to cover it up. Yeah. That's all that matters. This really does look like the blob, like from the movie. Like more than the other ones. We it's try. just slowly expanding out. Moving. It's alive. <laughs> Do you remember your babysitter Helen Wilson would uh, bundle you guys up like that in Kinda. May? <laughs> in May? And she'd be, yeah. yeah. I had to take the snowsuits away. Oh. Remember when I when I went to elementary school, you used to have to tell me to put a jacket on. Yeah, when it was up to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I think you'd basically decided if you're dumb enough to not wear a coat, then you deserve to be cold. In, ju in junior high, that was my new policy. Yeah. If you don't know enough how to prevent yourself from getting cold or hungry, well, I just don't know. It's going to be survival. You have to learn. <laughs> yeah. Mom's not going to be there forever. That's right. <laughs> Half this video is gonna be that movie. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think I'm gonna change my gloves. I feel like you've got this right now. Do you guys still do like the same kind of droop test for this? Yep. To make the same, same exact? Yep, same. Same thing. Same thing. Picking goobers? Picking goobers? goobers. What? <laughs> All that actually... That actually does stick to the pole in real life. Yeah. Remember one time, me and one of our cousins, uh, we were like, playing on like their jungle gym, and then he stuck his tongue to the... to the uh, ladder, and uh, he... he <laughs> <laughs> he he took his tongue out pretty quick, but there, he was like spitting blood out. Which cousin was that? I don't know if I wanted to say the name. Give me initials. SF. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> <laughs> San Francisco? Yeah. Cousin San Francisco? Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> got it. He probably doesn't do that anymore. No. <laughs> we'll have to ask him on Thanksgiving. Yeah. I don't know if he even remembers. I'm sure he remembers that. Yeah, his tongue's probably a little shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Does it grow back? Anybody know? Nope. He's just got a stubby tongue. Darn it all. What happens if you stub your tongue? Stubby tongue. It's just, you know, part of his tongue is just still stuck to that ladder. Oh, to this not, day. Hope he's not slippery. <laughs> Mom, Mom, what's your role right now? I'm actually standing here thinking about the candy making hammer. Oh. I'm hoping it's properly labeled and in its correct spot. That's really all I'm thinking about. It's a good thing that you're thinking about it. Wish me luck. I'm going to position myself to catch the candy for falls while Steve drapes it on the hook. Okay. It's right. Okay. Oh boy.
I'm glad I don't have to do that. Yeah. I'd stand on the other side, but there's stuff in the way. We're sorry. Okay. Kettle and uh, a thing. What's that thing down there? Scale. Scale. That's a scale. Yep. Whoa. This looks pretty advanced. Yeah. Is that the That's the weighing carbon. system over here? Yeah, it's an advanced weighing system. <laughs> That's carbon from the bottom of the kettles. You just sets the, the big copper kettles on there. Mm -hmm. That's what that black stuff is. Hmm. Oh, it's already changed a lot of color already. I know. Aren't you sorry you looked away? Mm-hmm. How did you guys start doing peanut butter filled ribbon candy? Uh, somebody from Cortland called and asked if we had it. And we said no. And he said, why not? We said, we don't know how to make it. He said, if I come down there and I show you how to make it, will you make it for me? And we okay. said, sure. I think it was called the Chocolate Shop in Cortland. Mm -hmm. It was on uh, Main Street in the 70s. Okay. Actually, it was good. Yeah. Ready? So he came down, and, or came it, up rather. And yeah, I'm you. not sure which way he came. When I, when I was a kid, um, I lived in Preble, New York, and Cortland was the big city. Mm, and, the um, big city. The big city. And they, they, my, my mom actually got us our Easter candy there a few times. And because uh, now we're in Syracuse, which is so far away from The there. even bigger city. Oh, yeah. But he came down and he kind of supervised. He was out of the candy business and he couldn't physically do it anymore, but he could stand here and tell us what to do. Mm -hmm. So after that, he got free uh, peanut butter filled ribbon candy every year until one of his family members says, he's diabetic, stop doing this. <laughs> so he said, okay. But we really appreciate it. His name was John Knapp. Classic John. Mm -hmm. Because this, I mean, maybe we could have figured it out, but who's got time and ingredients to experiment and mm -hmm. ruin Oh, we're so this is one of the steps, right? Yeah. Whoa. Just cut it in half. We're going to make ourselves a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> so what are you guys doing right now? We're going to make a squarish. Squarish. And less fat. It looks like your piece is smaller. Is it just because it hasn't been stretched out as much? Your dad didn't touch it yet. Oh. It's up to I mean, him to. Uh, Dad's got a lot of practice because he yes. makes pizza crust all the time. Exactly. <laughs> that's so nice. Or maybe that's why he's so good at uh, making pizza crust because he does this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Ready for the. Peanut butter gonna go in this one? Yeah. <clears throat> Spatula. Spatula. My arm's getting hot over there. No. Gotta hurry up, the candy's gonna okay, get Okay, that's too. good. That's good enough. We gotta have the edges on this thing so I can pull it away. Oh my god, it's hot. Is hot dead? Yeah. A little bit. This will stick to the counter if we leave it much longer. Time is of the essence. Okay, ready? Okay. That was a close one.
So when did you guys start doing uh, peanut butter bread? Can you get the red right I'm gonna guess 15 years ago. Oh really? Have to, Steve would have to look at his notes to be sure. I didn't know it was that long ago. I thought it was like maybe 10. Maybe it was, I don't know. Hey, you were around, <coughs> when was it? I don't know. You were paying attention, were ya? Nope. <laughs> oh, wrong way. So this is the part where we have to see if there's peanut butter in it. Hmm. And there probably isn't. In the beginning? In the beginning, yep. Oh, and I don't know if we've mentioned it, but um, it's going to be a little bit shorter, Steve. Peanut butter filled ribbon candy isn't that pretty. Hmm. It's kind of fat. It can, yeah, it can be fat, it can be lumpy, it can be misshapen. Is this a little bit more forgiving than normal ribbon candy? As you, far as time it wise? Is, it is softer, yeah, okay. There's my first. Oh, there's peanut butter in there. There's my peanut butter. Um, remember, we do these a little shorter. And it, it can also be messy. Like, I have to be careful, it can squeeze out mm. the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. We might end up with some peanut butter streaks on this here counter. <laughs> Although the good thing about this is if we ship it, it's more likely to get there somewhat intact mm -hmm. because it's two layers thick and there's peanut butter acting as glue to just hold that together. Mm -hmm. When we make the regular ribbon candy, we try to make it super, super thin. He's not trying to make this quite as thin because the thicker it is, the more peanut butter there is. So what you're saying is, if you live in California and you want ribbon candy, you should get peanut butter filled? It might work. <laughs> Better than yeah, normal I ribbon mean, candy anyway. Yeah, at temperature extremes might still affect it if, mm -hmm. it's, if it gets really hot. Because I mean, it's still a sugary thing. It could turn into a mess. It's still ribbon candy. Pretty much every other ribbon candy video I've seen uses a machine for what mom's doing. Couldn't find one on eBay, so we're just... <laughs> not that we want to anyway. Sticking with this way. Because then it's not handmade. True story. So if you were to explain to somebody what you're doing with your hands, how I'm, would you explain it? I'm lifting these fingers up and down. I'm not going back and forth, it's up and down. And the left hand is just pushing it forward and not really moving too much, just pushing it forward. Because how far I push it forward determines the size of the loop. And I give it that last little, little hug to align things. Oh, now I can't see anything. I'm so sorry. Side. Other side better, I guess. Try to make my hand less visible. Yeah. More glass like. Or you can even get down here. Yeah, I could. Good, good idea, man. Is this easier or harder to manage than normal ribbon candy, Dad? A little harder. What makes it more difficult? Well, because you gotta make sure all the peanut butter is going through it. Oh, okay. And how do you how do you do that on your yeah. end? I can feel it in the not here. What do you do if it's not if there's not enough peanut butter going through? I have to through? tell your mom to put this one that doesn't have peanut butter on the side. Oh, okay. So then we just make it like molasses or something? Yep. <clears throat> Will it still have like hints of peanut butter flavor? No, probably not. Nothing? No. Just normal molasses?
All right, so you guys just doing one more batch of this today, and then chocolate, and then what's the what's the next kind of candy you guys are making? Other than chocolate, like what's the next hard candy? Uh, well, this coming Saturday we have open house. We'll be making candy canes, mm -hmm. and other than that, the weather looks like it might be appropriate uh, next Monday or Tuesday to make the spice ribbon candy flavors. So, uh, can you tell everyone what open house is all about? <coughs> oh yeah, <coughs> we're gonna make candy canes by hand, and people can come and watch us do that. And it can be a little crowded, so they have to stand in line for a while. So we we ply them with cookies and cider and chocolate to keep them balloons? happy. Balloons? No, the balloons are gone. Oh, since... do we don't do this anymore. No. Just Hot, show helium, that I know. helium became very impossible to get to get my hands on, so we just stopped doing balloons probably about three or four years ago. Those were the days. Remember balloons? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You used yeah. to bring up the extras for you guys when you were little. Shh. You chase them around the house. <laughs> we're like cats with lasers, but little kids with balloons. Yep. Oh, we should have used lasers. That would have been easier. Yeah. This would be great. I'd do that for a Super Bowl when you guys were little. Mm -hmm. I'd fill up some balloons and you guys would play with them, and then I could watch the game. <laughs> I'm diabolical. <laughs> diabolical dad. Email me, subject line, broken ribbon candy, your shipping address, and the amount that you want. I will then email you back your total. You may then call me with your credit card information. Um, <laughs>